Welcome to the basement. I'm Hannibal. These are my thoughts. Happy New Year. January 1st, 2022. So this is the year that everybody's been waiting for. Or at least we say we have been. You know, I've heard plenty of people say over the last year or so, I can't wait for this year to end. I'm waiting for the new year. I'm waiting for new things. And admittedly, I've been one of those people. I've said those things. Because we're all waiting on new things to come with the new year. As if the new year is going to magically bring a change. Now, maybe because of the thought pattern or the mindset that, you know, the new year brings this change, maybe it does happen just like that. But the reality of it is, is that if we don't start doing new things, start thinking new ways, start implementing new processes or different processes, there's going to be anything new. It's going to be the same old things in the new year. So if you want the new year to bring new things, then you have to change what it is you're doing. If I want bourbon in the new year, then I'm going to have to start buying bourbon or making bourbon, but acquiring bourbon. I can't just keep drinking scotch or rum and thinking that because it's a new year and I want bourbon, then it's just going to happen. No, it, it's got to it's got to get to the house, to the glass somehow. It doesn't just happen by osmosis. So, you know, I was asking, I asked both of my daughters or so far, two of my daughters, I've had the opportunity to ask them, what do you want to be different about this year? Yeah, you know, you're asking a 17 and a 12 year old what you want to be different about their year and your answers can be a little interesting. But, you know, the bottom line was they want the year to be good. So my question is, how are you, how, how do you want it to be good? How are you going to help to make it good? Have you thought about that? So I'm going to pose the same question to you. Because we're all saying we want this year to be different. We want this year to be good. We want this year to be something else. So how are we going to make it something else? So I have been, and I'm still reviewing my processes, the things that I do things that I interact with, things that I involve myself with. And I'm trying to formulate how it is that I am going to take the positive of those things to perpetuate that and eliminate the negative so that I can have the progressive year that I want it to be, so that I can have the changes that I want and need my life, my year, my job, my every situation. Rather than just saying, I can't wait for the new year. Because I realize that the new year doesn't necessarily bring new things. New Year's Eve started at 1201. 1200, not even 1201, 12. A.M. This morning. Man, that was 24 hours ago. At this point. Because it's the end of the day. And I'm wrapping up my New Year day. But that was 24 hours ago. And at that point. The difference between what I was doing. And what was happening in my life at 11.30. 
11.59 p.m. 11.45 p.m. January, December 31st, 2021. And 12.00 a.m. January 1st, 2022 was a matter of minutes. There was nothing extraordinary that occurred. There was no lightning bolt from the sky that came down and set the earth on fire and created this miraculous blaze. There was no morning sunshine that came out and rained blessings and presents on everybody. The reality of it is, if you aren't making changes, you aren't going to see changes, at least not in your life, not in your situation, not the way you want it to be. Now, you may see some byproduct changes from those that are connected with you that there's some type of spillover. And keep in mind, that spillover can be good and bad. But there may be some spillover into your life the direct changes that we keep saying that we want to see. You want to lose weight if you're not working on that. It's not going to happen. You want to be in a different income. If you're not working on that, aspiring towards that, it's not going to happen. You want to attain the next degree. If you're not taking classes, it's not going to happen. You want to be in a, a beautiful relationship. If you're not working with whoever you're involved with that relationship with in a positive manner, it's not going to happen. So again, I'm going to say Happy New Year. But your New Year being or bringing the new things that we say we want. If you're not working towards those things, it's just gonna be the same old thing, minutes, hours, days, months later. So my challenge to you is instead of saying, I'm waiting on tomorrow, I'm waiting on next month. I'm waiting on next week. I'm waiting on next year. Instead of saying and just waiting. Do and implement change. And you don't have to tell people. Because honestly, what you're working on is really nobody's business. It's yours. I mean, unless you want to make it someone's business. But what you're trying to achieve doesn't have to be painted on the walls because it's about your life. But if you're working on, if you want something positive, my challenge to you is to implement the things that are going to bring those positive, necessary, wanted changes that you say you're waiting for. Because you can wait all day that meaning gonna show up. It's like <laughs> Smoky Friday. I'm just gonna sit around waiting on the job. Like a job gonna come knocking it. Who that job? No. Job don't just show up. You gotta at least step outside and go looking for job. So change happens constantly. We can't stop change. But the positive or the desired changes that we want, that is what we seek to implement. And if you're not working towards those, they're probably not going to happen. Not the way you want. So welcome to 2022. 
let's make this the most magnificent year ever. If you got a quarrel, squash it. Somebody you need to talk to, have that conversation. You need to make some changes in your life, make them. You want to start working out, you want to get in shape, start doing it. You want a better job, start working on it. You want a better car, start looking. Start figuring out how you're going to get it. You need a better relationship with your kids, talk to them. Figure out how that's going to happen. Be present. You got an axe to grind. Grind it. Because tomorrow, next year, hell, five minutes from now is not promised. So while we're sitting around waiting on the new year, waiting on the new month, waiting on the new day, who says we get to see it? So you got to make new changes in every new moment. And that's how we get to the new. Me? I'm going to work on a new. Join me.